Hi guys, my name is Patrick, but you can call me 26. And what we're going to do today is we are going to talk about programmatic navigation, right? So um, in order to display this, let's create an enum. I'm going to show you how to drill down to a specific page um, and also how to pull uh, maybe a page that is several layers deep and also jump back up to any other page along a stack, right? So we're going to stack up various pages or screens, and then sh I'm going to show you how to jump in between um, in between them and pick whichever page you want to go to, right? So that's what I'm calling programmatic navigation. So let's look at an example. And here we're just going to have an enum. And the enum is going to be called pages or screens or whatever you want to call it. And we're going to have three cases, right? We're going to have case. The first case is going to be home. The second case is going to be login. The third case is going to be profile, right? So we have those three. And what those three are going to be is you are going to be able to go from login, one step to login. Now, the ne the other two are either going to take two steps or three steps to get down to them, right? So you login is the only one where you can go straight from the home page to the login. Otherwise, you'll need to take two steps or three steps, right? So our goal is to be able to jump from the front page or the first page all the way to the particular um, login or profile, despite it being three pages deep, right? So let's create a struct. Come down here and create a struct. I'm just going to put everything in the same page, um, on the same file, right? So we're going to call a struct here, and it's going to be called navigator. Navigator is going to be. We could come here, and this is going to be. Um, we could say at view builder like so, and we're going to have a static function, static func, and this func is going to be called navi gate like so and navigate is going to take a page and it's going to do exactly what it says it's going to do it's going to take a page from pages right and um what it's going to do is we are going to return some view like so some view like so and then this is going to be um we're going to switch on the pages right that comes so we say switch and here we're going to have pages page and we're going to have the three and the three are going to be an SF symbol. Now we're going to create another struct. We haven't created it, right? This is just going to be for the SF symbol, right? So this is going to be, um, let's say struct SF symbol, like so symbol image or call it SF symbol image like so, call this a view and uh, let it help us. And that is going to be that. And what it's going to take, it's, we're just going to pass in the system name and the color, right? So we say at first, right? So this is going to be let system name, like so system name is going to be of type string. This is just going to be the system name that is going to give us the SF symbol, right? And then we're going to say let color. Um, this is just to make it prettier. It has no functionality, right? So what you're going to have here is going to be, we are going to have a button, right? For starters. So we come here, let's give ourselves a bit more real estate. Come here and have this button. And this button is going to take in an action and the action is going to be in there. And um, for now, it's going to be nothing. Then you're going to have the image and the image now is going to have the system name and the system name is going to be the system name like so. And um, we need a foreground color or rather nowadays it's called foreground style. Uh, okay, not form style, but foreground style. Foreground style like so. And this is going to be, um, it, we're going to pass in the color like so. And then we roll up and we want the font and the font is going to be, um, we want to make it large, right? Let's make it big. So we say we want it look to be large title like so. This is going to be a button. It's going to do nothing for now. Um, or we could say print something like one, two, three for now, right? Does nothing. And now we need to call this up here, right? So we could go back to our home and for whom we want the SF symbol and the system name in question is going to be house dot circle dot fill like so the color is going to be um, let's let's make it blue pick a color you want and the login we could create a sort of padlock is going to be SF symbol and the system name is going to be lock lock dot circle dot fill so we have lock that circle dot fill the color in question is going to be dot red like so and the profile is going to be sf symbol like so this is going to be something like person dot circle like so the color in question pick a color you like i'm going to say purple right now we have everything we need uh, to illustrate what i was saying and what you're going to do is you're going to go to the content view and in the content view you're going to have um 
a navigation stack with three buttons that lead to the login, the profile, and the home page, right? So the first thing we need to do is we need to keep track of where we are. And for that, we use, um, we could use, uh, we need an array, right? We're going to use an array. So it's basically just going to be, we're going to be manipulating an, an array to tell us where we are, right? So this is going to be a state variable, and this is going to be state of our path. And this path is going to be uh, an array filled with our pages, right? So you can maybe say pages like so, and it's going to start off as empty. So we have that, and what we want is, let's get rid of um, this image like so. We don't need any padding here. And what you're going to do is you're going to put wrap everything in a navigation stack, right? Navigation stack, come here, say navigation stack, and we have the navigation stack, and this is going to be that. Put the V stack inside it, right? Come here, cut this, put this here like so and what we want is uh, maybe let's give it a title come here remember it has to be inside so we say navigation title and this is going to be navigation path and you can see it on the screen and what we want next is going to be we create the buttons that we need right and we're going to create three buttons so we say here button and we just want the the name to be there right and this is going to be something like Let's come here and say something like login. And uh, what we're going to do is we need three of them, right? So have login, copy this, uh, copy like so come. We have login, uh, login, and then the next one is going to be profile. And the third one is going to be, there's login, profile, and home, right? Now, we are going to put on login, we're going to put path. We're going to come here, get the array, and to say path dot, append and what do we want to append we want to append pages dot login right and when we come here we want to come and append on the array path dot append and we want to get pages dot login and then afterwards we're going to hit command d and we want pages dot login and then we want the profile right so you put the that and plus the profile like so so here we have two and here we just say path dot append what we want appended pages dot login command d we don't want the login we want the profile um command d after the profile we would like the home right that way we have three so we have the login the profile and the home right so um this is not going to work of course until we there are two things we've not done we need to tell it the path so that it can know how to stack them so we come here and we say path like so and the path is just going to be bound to the path right so that you can know when we are stacking them and when we are removing them right and our buttons look really small so let's make them a bit more a bit larger by coming here on the v stack and saying font and this is going to be we wanted large title so we have a bit bigger buttons it's still not going to work because we have not told it the destinations right so you could put the destinations on the v stack so that you can know what to switch on and we say navigation navigation destination and we have navigation destination like so and this is going to be four and four here we need a hashable type which our pages luckily is we say pages.self hit this this is going to be that and we come here we need page and in the closure what you're going to have is going to be we now call the navigator navigator dot and uh, the static function is navigate and to our pages, we pass in the page like so, right? So now we are going to be able to stack up and go to that particular page, right? So if we go to login, we do come here and we find a button, right? And when we hit back, we go back to the main page. When we go to profile, um, why doesn't profile show, right? We have an SF symbol for some reason. Let's see, profile, um, we have that. And for some reason, you're not seeing our profile. I'm not sure why. But we have we're seeing this right so let's see what are we doing here um login and profile okay so the login is being logged but the profile for some reason um there's something that is not working with our profile right okay the profile we misspelled circle right so this is supposed to be circle like so right now if we command b um that's the thing about sf symbol they're a bit finicky you have to be exactly spot on with your naming of the system name right so if we come here to profile now let's just reload this if you come to profile 
uh, let's command v build it and try it okay build successful and now we come we see our person right but when we go back we shouldn't go back directly to the main page because we have jumped in two pages in right now we have uh the login and the profile on the stack right so if you go back we should come here and we see this is a login a padlock remember is a sign of our lock our lock um our login right and we do this we come to the top right when you come to home we should be three levels deep right so we have a blue house right this is going to be the house like so when you go back we should see the person meaning that we are now on um, profile and when you go back again we should see the login because of the lock and when you go back again we're going to be on the first one and this is going to be the very first page right and we could even make it more obvious it's not as obvious right now by coming and saying v stack like so put the v stack here and wrap the button on the uh, v stack and after the button what we would like to do is we would like to put a text let's put a text and we see exactly what is on the nav path um let's pass in the navigation path let's come here and say something like add binding so you can see it right uh var this is going to be the nav path call it the nav path like so and the nav path is just going to be an array of pages right then you're going to see exactly what pages are on top of what we're doing right and here it's going to be nav path dot description right so that you can see it like so it's going to complain i believe here and here what we need to do is we need to pass in the nav path so you could come here put a comma after pages and say this is going to be the nav path and this is going to be a type of binding like so and we're just going to bind an array of pages right so put pages there it's going to complain um just hit this come here hit fix and this one is just going to be the nav path like so come here hit fix and this is going to be the nav path and come here you get the drill right hit nav path like so and now what we need to do is we would need to call it up here right so on our navigator it's going to complain that we're not passing in that so we hit fix and now we need to bind it so we just say dollar sign and this is going to be path remember we have called it path up here and nav path down there right so we do that and that should be okay and now if we go to that page you're going to see the number uh what is stacked on the page right come here and we see programmatic navigation pages dot login right so go back here go here we see programmatic navigation login and then we're in profile right come here um yeah here it's one and here there is none right and we come here we should see three right so we have the login the profile and now we are in home this is what is on our stack currently right but now the next thing we might want to do is we can jump into page one we can jump into page two page three right we want also the ability to jump all the way back to the top right so we want the ability that when we decide um if we actually hit this button we would like to jump all the way to the top right so we don't have to go back twice right so how would we do that and the answer is remarkably simple we since we are dealing with an array all we need to do is we need to move um essentially move this sf symbol right um when we get the button just remove everything from the nav path right just clear out the array and if you clear out the array you're going to jump back to the top right so instead of printing one two three as we're doing here what you could do is just come and you say nav path dot remove all right so if we remove everything from the nav navigation path we're going to jump all the way to the top right so let's see whether that works let's just hit command b and give it a second that works come here to login and you're just going to see this is where we are one level deep and if we hit this we go back to the top same as hitting back but where it's going to be useful is when we are two levels deep right so now we have this too if we hit this we need to go one two right uh, if we hit this and we hit this button we jump all the way to the top right here we are three levels deep we have to go one two three right to get to the top but uh to the top right but if we hit the button we can now navigate to the very top right so what we have shown now is how you can navigate programmatically right so you could choose to either go just by using an array right and stacking on the screens that you want to see so you could either choose to go um deep link to a particular page or and also when you're on that page leave that page and go all the way to the top should you so choose so and you can also go to the second level the third level however you want to do like uh, you can make mix and match and figure out how to get it just by manipulating an array right so that is a high level overview of how programmatic navigation works in swift